Hi guys, and welcome to Mama Loves Mysteries and Tea. I'm Laura, and today I wanted to share you, with you a story that's, uh, well, it scared the crap out of me when I was little. It's the story of Hatch and Jack. And it's not really scary unless you lived like five minutes down the road from it. And it wasn't even that, it's the whole road. It's terrifying. Let me tell you the story so you understand. This is the story of Hatch Jack and Han Drive Road. Han Drive Road is a country road that links two very opposite towns together. And it's been that way for a very long time. It's a valley and, a, and it's encased in trees. It's, it's dark on that road even when the sun's out. It's terrifying and when the sun does go down and it gets foggy, you swear you see something moving alongside your car. Someone standing up the road, in the middle of the road, and there's no one there. It's that kind of road that has more stories than just Hatchet Jack. It has the Devil's Bridge and a ghostly apparition of a young girl that haunts the walking trail. The whole road is just alive with the dead. But Hatchet Jack was a real man who did a real scary thing. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about him. Hatchet Jack lived on Han Drive, like I said, in a house that wasn't big, but it was on a beautiful piece of property surrounded by orchards and forest. It was quiet. Like I said, it's a dark road, so it was always had that you're-in-your-own-little-world atmosphere to it. It was heaven. Until the mother of Hatch Jack got down with cancer. Hit her hard. It was very aggressive. And it took its toll quickly. To help matters, Richard Sherman and his father both agreed to uh, let their aunt move in. Help out. Unfortunately, she absolutely could not stand Richard, a.k.a. Hatch Jack. She'd belittle him, degrade him, never in front of the mother, of course. She just couldn't understand why a grown man was still living at home. Well, his mom had cancer, so <laughs> maybe, who knows? The, the bad part about this all is eventually the father just kind of chimed right on in and added on to the abuse. Then the day came where Richard Sherman's mom, whom he had a wonderful close relationship with, passed away, leaving him alone with his aunt and his father forever. Now, with the mom gone, there really was no protection against those two. So when Richard got home from work and just casually asked his aunt for a glass of orange juice while they were standing in the kitchen, she outright flipped, asking him why he still lived at home with his parents, why he couldn't do it for himself, he was a grown man. How pathetic was he? Well, Richard had enough and went to his father to complain about his aunt, but his aunt, his dad felt the same as his aunt. And he asked Richard to move out, pack your things, and get out. Well, that was the fuse to the bomb that lit Richard off. Richard went upstairs, grabbed a gun, and proceeded to shoot both his aunt and his father. Sant right in the head. His father, you, you put a couple bullets in him. He was so mad. But that wasn't enough. He had to get rid of the bodies now. That's how he got the name Hatchet Jack. He dragged the bodies out to the orchard, dug a shallow grave, took a chainsaw, ironically, and hacked them to pieces, putting them in the ground. Now, Hatchet Jack... Richard ended up going to jail and eventually was released. He'd lost his mind, but the story, the legend, had already started. What I found out as I got older in life was that he actually worked at a Burger King in town. People talked to him. Apparently he was really nice. Kind man who had just lost it. He never hurt another soul, even remarried. 
but that'll never stop the shadow of Hatchet Jack on Han Drive. The house itself eventually burned down over the years, and there are some people that have uh, access to that property and still go there and still say how beautiful it is. From what I heard, somebody actually built another home up there. Although they had to put iron gates up to keep uh, local folk from going up and trying to find where the grave site was. Hatchet Jack became a legend that terrified the kids. I only lived about eight minutes down the road, maybe six, not that much. It terrified me. I ended up on Han Drive Road looking for Hatchet Jack's property. But I found so many other things that terrified me and kept me up at night. So even without Hatchet Jack, Han Drive would be a scary place. Railroads ran across it. Many people of many cultures stopped through there. But I'd love to hear the stories that haunt your towns. What stories do you have? What legends keep the kids' interests up where you come from? Where did you explore when you were little? Again, mine was Han Drive. And I wish I never would have. But I'd love to hear your stories. Share and comment below. I'm going to keep this one short. And I'll even share the newspaper article from the murders. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Watch your surroundings. Don't go uh, visiting Han Drive after dark. And don't forget to give your family members a call. At least the ones you like anyways. Bye, guys.